Hello, I am Flash Isaac, and you are welcome to Junior Wire BECE Basic Science and Technology Series. This is the episode 5. If you've not been following, simply go back to episode 1 so you start the right way. I will share a link to the previous episode below and as well to the next episode so you don't miss out any of the episodes. Remember, we are making use of the Flash Learners BECE application. Visit Google Play Store, search Flash Learners BECE. You will see the application or visit flashlearners.com. I will share links to the applications below, mobile version and the desktop version, so you follow us. Now, in this episode, this is the first question we shall be taking care of. It says, calculate the work done in Joe's when a bus is pulled with a force of 80 newton through a distance of 5 meters. In episode 4, we solved a question on that power and we are told that power is equals mgs over t. It also equals mgh over t where a bus was dragged. Now, what is mg? Force is equals mg is equals ma. Now for mg, mg is the weight of any body. Weight is mass times acceleration due to gravity. Mass is the qu quantity of matter a body possesses, but weight is the earth's pull on the body. By the time you raise an object up, gravity begins to act on it. Gravity, which is approximately 10 meters per second squared, it acts on the body, which means if a body or an object is has a mass of 2 kilograms, as you raise it up, the weight is equal to mg, which is 2 times 10, that is 20 newton. So force is equal to weight. Okay? Now, we are told that power is equal to work over time. And from there, we started deriving, and I explained that work is force times distance. So now, we are solving the question under work done. So work done is equal to force times distance or displacement. That is work done. So calculate the work done in joules when a bus is pulled with a force of 80 newtons. So force F is equals 80 newton through a distance of 5 meters. So distance S is equals 5 meters. Therefore, work done is equals force times distance is equals 80 newtons times 50 meters. And what is 80 times 50? That should give you 400. Because um, work done is in joule. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 8 is 40. So 400 joules is the work done. When a bus is pulled with a force of 80 newtons, through a distance of 5 meters. So option D is the correct option. And the next question says, the components of petroleum are separated by a method known as dash. Now, when you hear separation in basic science and technology or later in chemistry, it simply means that something was missed. There is a mixture or there was a mixture. Mixture. Mixture is a combination of two or more substances. When two or more substances combine physically, they are being mixed. You can separate them. For example, if you pour sand inside water or you pour beans inside rice, they will be mixed. Now, there is a difference in the sizes of particles in uh, stone inside water, so you can just filter. So depending on the type of mixture, you can choose a separation technique. You have different components in petroleum, and their boiling points are very, very close, very, very close. So as you begin to distill, each of them, each of the components of petroleum, they begin to come aside. Therefore, to separate petroleum, you use fractional distillation. 
Petroleum is separated into its components by fractional distillation. Why? The boiling points of the components are very, very close. So we employ fractional distillation. So if I should ask you a question, which separation technique is used for uh, liquid or mixtures with close boiling points? It is fractional distillation. With far boiling point, simple distillation. So option C will be correct option. I hope you found this helpful. This brings us to the end of this episode. Feel free to check out my next episode, subscribe to this channel, tell your friends to subscribe, and don't forget to let me know how you feel. Check out my previous videos.